Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pragmat. Today, I want to discuss with you a rugged style tablet, something a little tougher than we're used to, and that is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 3. The third generation device is designed for frontline workers. It's meant to be operational in some of the toughest environments, following some of the toughest use that you could imagine on an electronic device. The Tab Active 3 delivers military grade ruggedness all in a small, portable, eight inch device. For the most part, Samsung has geared this towards enterprise. It's not really a consumer tablet. When they say frontline workers, they really do mean it. They mean anybody on the go, places where this might be dropped, in the field. This is meant to be used. However, that doesn't mean that consumers can't buy it as well and get in on the ruggedness. There is something just so satisfying about seeing a piece of tech designed in an era where things seem to break and not be as tough as we need them to be for day-to-day -day usage. Devices have gotten more expensive and at the same time it seems like they're more fragile and withstand a whole lot less than we need them to and I have a feeling that more than a few viewers are interested in a rugged tougher tablet and let's get into what that means. Some of the features that Samsung wants to highlight is that it does have a replaceable battery meaning that if you are using this for extended periods of time you can hot swap a battery which is very rare for an electronic device these days. Replaceable batteries are almost non-existent in phones and and more and more tablets as well have built-in batteries soldered in, which makes the Galaxy Tab Active a strong player if for whatever reason you need power on the go. The screen also has some technology which Samsung says enhances touch and that helps when using it with gloves. Working in the field and in the front line oftentimes means wearing gloves and Samsung has kept that in mind. They do mention that this is intended for the thinner gloves, not maybe some super heavy duty gloves. Going along with the ruggedness, there is an IP68 rating and that gives it water resistance up to five feet for 30 minutes. And increasing its ruggedness, it's also been tested in 23 different environmental conditions, which include dust, shock absorption, low pressure, and it's also been in the ringer in about most conditions you would expect to use a tablet like this. With the Samsung case on, they tout a total 1.5 meter drop resistance. And the device also works with a ruggerized IP68 certified S Pen, which can be snapped into the top of the case and stored in a compartment. Getting into the nitty gritty specs, it has an eight inch display, a 1920 by 1200, 1610 display. That is a really nice resolution for such a small screen, which is gonna give you that ability to see high resolution, see that almost paper quality resolution if you're reading or making notes on it using the S Pen. It is powered by Samsung's own octa-core processor and it comes with four gigabytes of RAM. Storage configurations begin at 64 gigabytes and there is a 128 gigabyte SSD option as well. There is two cameras on the device, the front facing camera being five megapixels and the rear camera coming in at 13 megapixels capable of recording 4K at 30 frames per second. And for ports, there is USB-C and a micro SD card reader, supporting cards up to one terabyte. The removal battery is a total of 5,050 megawatt hours. For increased security, the tablet does have a fingerprint sensor to unlock. Pricing is a little steep for the device and that comes with the territory. This is not meant for everyday use. This is meant for ruggedness and durability. It's gonna cost $489.99 for the Wi-Fi model and $589 for the LTE model. I think the use case for non-enterprise would be hikers, anyone who's in the outdoors a lot, anyone into active sports who might wanna have their technology with them but might risk smashing something Thing that isn't as durable as what Samsung has provided. Because the pricing is so steep, there really is no value if you're just gonna be putting this on your coffee table, on your bed stand, or on your desk, and it's not really gonna leave the house. Perhaps if you have some bad luck and you've smashed a lot of things in the past, this could be a good investment for you. To address the real world value of this eight inch device is pretty difficult. It's very specialized, it's very subjective. Samsung though in this case has definitely prioritized function and durability over perhaps design and price. 
Some of the design elements on the Galaxy Tab Active 3 do make it look a little dated. It definitely is not the most streamlined design that we've seen of recent years, but that's because in this case, it is function over form. And that's what makes this device so unique. It is impressive to see that Samsung can beef up its devices to withstand the daily wear and tear of being deployed on the front lines, while still delivering good specs, a beautiful display, and a form factor we're used to. And perhaps what Samsung learns from producing these more rugged style devices, they're gonna be able to integrate into their future flagship phones and flagship tablets. And we can see those devices gain some durability while maintaining that sleek design that we're used to seeing. And that would be great to see some of their learnings from Enterprise transfer over to their more consumer oriented products. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this tablet. Let me know if you think you're a person that could actually benefit from having something so rugged. Thank you everyone. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. If you haven't already, take a chance, hit that subscribe button and hop along for maybe a few more videos. I hope to have a lot of great content coming to everybody really soon. And thanks again from Pragmat.